morning folks it is Thursday yes May 26 and I'm extending one day in Kotor my original plan was to stay two nights I've extended for a third night maybe another night and today I'm doing a tour of northern Montenegro I like this area so much that I'm gonna use it as a base as opposed to just moving around Montenegro all the time Montenegro is really really tiny and now I'm in the town of Paras that oh, you can't really see it here but these here are like little man-made islands with churches and things and it's beautiful and I'm back on the bus now Pretty lake, but pretty islands. I think it's called Salt Lake, although it's not actually salty, it's fresh water. And I'm just like, the beauty of this country is just incredible. Look at that. We have some restaurant now and we're having breakfast-ish and I ordered a sandwich and it's huge. Let me show you just for comparison. My hand on top of the sandwich. big and it is what? prosciutto and a cheese after a dizzying ride up and down the mountains where I thought I was going to barf we finally made it to the Tara Canyon and that's a bridge that um, goes across the canyon and I haven't seen quite seen the canyon but it's down there so I'm gonna go check it out and it is nice and cool up here they have zip lining here from there all the way down to the other side and I am thinking about it uh, I am also scared out of my mind to do it uh, I shall consider thinking about it I'm on the bridge that's the river there and it is so windy and so flipping cold uh, I am freezing I just went on the zip line. I thought I had a push record and I didn't record. It started recording when I got to the other end and I stopped it, quote unquote. Stupid. I'm gonna do it again. Taking all my pictures from the frames, folding up my favorite memories. Wish that I could say that I can stay, but I can't stay. Finally, I'm where I wanna be On the open road where I can breathe They all think they're catching up to me actually got it this time I hope we are now in the dormitory I think it's called National Park and that is a black lake uh, the sun is not shining right now so everything looks dark but look at that look at that 
the beauty of this area of Montenegro is just astounding. Now I'm gonna walk over to the other side and see from that angle. Check it out from this side. Same lake and mountains back there. It is beautiful. Leaving all those photos on the ground. Guess that I'm just really living now. Wasn't even lost, but now I'm found. Now I'm found. Traded that expensive jewelry for an always. Here's a slightly different view with a little boat back there. Still a snow covered mountain. There is a, well there are many, but there's a Russian folk tale, fairy tale that I used to read when I was a kid. It is the story of a little girl named, I think it was Masha, but I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. Anyhow, she lives with her grandparents, as kids often do in these stories, and she lives in a forest. And one day, I guess she was trying to do something uh, and she got kidnapped by a bear, as one does. And eventually she outsmarted the bear and got back home by hiding in a basket that she got the bear to take to her grandparents. And the reason I'm telling you this story is that because of the way this forest looks I'm feeling a little bit like Masha and it's it's pretty cool this is a really cool forest it's I don't know you don't see this kind of thing in Florida or New York City winded with a gorgeous view of the lake so I guess it's time to head back to the bus and on to the next place. I'm now at Ustrong Monastery and the drive up the mountain was one of the scariest drives of my life. Um, I didn't realize I had been holding my breath the entire way up. So we're all the way, not quite all the way on the top of the cliff, but it is a long way down. Changing scenery, just when no one's catching up to me. So we were in the monastery up there and uh, there's the Vespers now. We've been on this tour today for almost 11 hours and this was the last time and we're heading back to Kotor, which is a good thing because I am pretty much done. 11 hours is a long time and it will be almost 12 hours by the time we get there. I'm done. <laughs> 